The top two races here in Arizona this week has been a lot about fighting over who can get the most support from the other side of the aisle. Today, Trump's, uh, to the, today's Trump and Lake event comes just 24 hours after a similar event by Democrats where Harris and the Democratic Senate candidate Ruben Gallego touted their support uh, the, they're getting from members of the opposition party. On Tuesday, Harris announced a group of GOP officials had formed a committee to support her presidential run here. That was followed the next day by a similar group of Republicans Republicans backing Gallego's Senate campaign. Those Republicans included Mesa Mayor John Giles and several former staff members of the late Senator John McCain. The Trump and Lake Coalition of Democrats did not include any high-profile officials. Instead, several average voters, several members of this group who spoke today, said they've become frustrated with the Democratic Party and their policies. I voted for Joe Biden in his presidential election. However, I soon I realized the terrible backlash in my decision. Joe Biden leadership in the White House has caused hyperinflation, increases taxes, and a cost of living crisis in America. So who is really pulling over more support from the other side? A new poll shows Harris and Gallego are doing a bit better than the opposition uh, with Lake than Lake and Trump is. In the presidential race, Harris is pulling 7.4 percent among Republicans, while Trump gets support from just 3.5 percent of Democrats. And in the Arizona Senate race, Gallego gets 14.2 percent support from registered Republicans, while Lake is being backed by just 2.9 percent of Democrats. And the group that did conduct that firm is a Phoenix-based public affairs company, High Ground Incorporated. The firm includes current and former Republicans turned independent. Guys, back into you. Dennis, thank you. That same poll, by the way, shows for the first time statewide, Harris is taking a more than two-point lead over former President Donald Trump. That's within the margin of error. And Congressman Ruben Gallego is now up 11 points over Carrie Lake in the race for Kirsten Sinema's Senate seat. Pollsters surveying voters right after the state primary say they are seeing the biggest margins with young and female voters.